Hi, welcome to Java Coding Assist. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Spring Security into a Spring Boot application. That is, we are going to see how to secure an application using Spring Security. Let's create a new Spring Boot application with these dependencies Spring Web, Spring Cloud Security and Spring Boot Developer Tools. I have imported that simple application to Eclipse. So I have a REST controller here with just one endpoint, hello. This is a simple REST endpoint which is going to return a string hi, hello, welcome along with the username who has been logged in. The whole application is now secured. Let's run this and just see how it works. Now the application is up and running. If you see the log messages, you will just find a log using generated security password. As we have added the Spring security dependency, Spring automatically generates a username and password to secure this application. So we can use this username and password to log in into our application. Let's now see what happens when we try to access that secured endpoint hello. This endpoint hello is secured using the Spring security. So it gives you a login page to enter your username and password. Default username is user and the password is the one which we get in the log message. We can copy this password. So this is a user is a username and you have got a default password and I'm just going to log in using this username and password. So here you get the output. When you access this endpoint which is a secured endpoint it redirects you to a login page and when you enter the username and password it takes you to that secured page. So it says a hi hello welcome and this is a user is a actual user who has been logged in now. Here we have used the spring generated username and password. Now let's see how to use our own username and password to secure our application. How to use a different usernames and passwords to log into the application. To do so, we have to configure the web security for our application. For this, we have to create a configuration class which extends the web security configurer adapter. We have to configure the authentication manager builder in order to store our login credentials. So what we are going to do here is we are going to do an in-memory authentication auth dot in-memory authentication. What this means is usually the login credentials will be stored in a database and when a user enters the username and password it will be verified against the data in the database but here just for testing purposes just for learning purposes we are going to use in-memory authentication that is our data will be stored within the application the given username and password will be verified against the data that is stored internally within our application. This is just for a learning purpose. In the next videos, we can see how to use a data from a database to authenticate an user. For now, we will just see how this works. So, in memory authentication dot with user to specify the username. And you have to give the password for this user. And while giving the password, you have to encode the password. To encode the password, you need a password encoder. So we are going to create a bean called password encoder. This bean returns a encoder which encodes our given password. And the password will be stored in an encrypted way. So while retrieving the data for authentication, the Spring Security decodes this password and then authenticates the 
and verifies whether he is a valid user. So we are going to use this password encoder and encode our password. Password encoder dot encode of we have to give our passwords here. Then we can specify the roles for that user. For now, I'm my user is an admin. This is it. We have configured an user, and this the user who gives this credentials will be able to log in into our application. We can now run the application and see whether this user with a username Sam and a password for A's is able to log in into the application. When we access the endpoint hello. As usual, it redirects you to a login page where we can specify our username and password to log in. So now you can see we have been logged into the application and we are able to access the hello endpoint. Hi, hello, welcome, Sam. Sam is a, a user who has logged into this application for now. We can configure multiple users using this in-memory authentication. Whenever a user tries to log in, Spring Security verifies the username and password with the details given here and if he is an, a valid user, it lets him to log in into the application. So this is how in-memory authentication works. We just store the login credentials within the application that is in-memory authentication. But this is not the real case. We usually store the username and password externally in a database and whenever a user tries to log in we verify it against the username and password stored in the database and allows or denies the user we can see how to make use of a, a database credentials to verify a or authenticate a user in the next video thanks for watching bye